everybody, it's me, ProGamecuber17, and today we're going to be making a ping pong game. So, I just started off with some characters. So, I, ma I got out a paddle, a ball, and then I picked a random backdrop, and I made this one sprite. I made it by putting a thick line. My, my thickness was 28, and I put it as like this like, purplish color. And I put it in the very bottom. So after we do that, we want to make the paddle to move left and right. So we have to take up move 10 steps and another move 10 steps and change one of the move 10 steps to move negative 10 steps. And then we go to events, bring out one clip when space key is pressed, and change the, the one with the negative 10 steps left. And the one with the positive 10, right. And now when we press play, if we put if we push at the left, it'll go go to the left. If we push on the right, it'll go to the right. Now we go to the ball. And now I already have a one clicked, and what we do there is we go to control, we get a forever, we go back up, and we say Move 10 steps, and so after we do move 10 steps, we get if on edge, where is if on edge, okay, yeah right here, so if we get if on, we put if on edge, bounce, and then after that we get turn, 15 degrees and if we now press play that didn't work because it's just turning 15 degrees over and over again so we take out 15 degrees and now we have a moving paddle and a ball, ball. but if you noticed if we put our paddle over our ball it's not really bouncing off of it it's just moving through it so now we're going to go to events again, and we're going to see Okay, so what we do is we get a if if then statement from the control section and then go to events and get one clicked And after we do that, we go to here we in the if then section we go to sensing and we put in this touching mouse pointer and we put in paddle right there instead of mouse pointer then we go back to motion when we press we would do turn 180 And we put on if on edge. But it's still not bouncing off. So now we're going to see what happens if, if this is the case. Uh, so what we would do to make the ball bounce off the paddle is we would put a forever loop around an if, if statement. And in the if statement we would put if touching and then we would change mouse pointer to paddle and then inside there we would put change size by negative five because we want to start it off easy and make it harder and harder so i started my thing off with 350 as the size and every time i touch the paddle it'll change the thing minus five then you want to put if on edge bounce after that you want to put point in direction and then after you do that, you go to operators over here, and you will find this blank minus blank. And you put that inside that section, and you type in 180 in one section, and you go back to motion. And in the very bottom of motion, there will be a thing called direction. You put that in here. And after you do that, and you press play, when the ball comes, it'll, it'll bounce off the paddle. And it'll get smaller and smaller. So that's your, 
after this, we're going to be doing a thing where if the ball touches the purple line that I put in the bottom, it'll stop the whole entire game. So let's go do that now. So let's go to Sprite 1, which is that, and let's say... One click, and then down here, get the if then. Wait, no, we put this all in the ball section, not the sp Yeah. So we get the one click, and then we put the if then statement here, and then we get if touching sprite one. Stop, and then we get this thing that says stop all. So now, so because that didn't work, what what should we do? What we should do? Let's try this script. So that didn't work either. So let's try if we can, let's see if we can put this in the Sprite 1 section and see what happens. One click and then the if then statement, go to sensing, and then if touching ball. Stop all. So that didn't work either. So, because that didn't work, what we can do to make this harder without stopping the whole entire thing, we can do if it touches the. Um, yeah, we. we let, let's make the thing where you have to try making the size go to 20 and if you go past 20 you technically fit it win and if you touch the purple line the ball will get bigger by 10. or to make this harder we can say change the size Okay, we should do this in the ball section, not this section, not the sprite, not, not on sprite one. So the ball size will get smaller. So if touching sprite one, then go to change size by 10. And put 20. Now, let's put this thing size back at 350. And let's try it out. So, you can see that my ball is getting smaller and smaller. Now let's see what happens if when it hits the ground. It's getting bigger. Okay guys, that's it. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you like the video. See you in the next video. Bye.